Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be building a train wheel. Yes, a steam locomotive wheel. Exactly like this one, but way different. Yeah, okay, anyways. So the first part of this little tutorial that we are doing today is we need to have a large cylinder here because this is going to be the base of the wheel like you see right here. So now we have a big cylinder. Yes, it's very big. So all we need to do is to then control D that, scale it about a third in to the base, and then have it about right there. See, so now it'll keep it from floating off the tracks. So, and then as you would want to do, you want to scale this down so you don't need any Z fighting. So, now for just some added design and color, for just some sums that you guys can put on, or not, it depends. So, we're gonna have a big white cylinder as an outlining. So we need it about here, like about that much of it. So, control D, so we have another to go into the base. Okay, so you want to scale it up a little bit, negate it again, and then put it into these two. So, there you go. You got a pretty good looking rim. I th no, that's not what it's called. Um, so now, you would just want to get one of these parts, but before we do that, we need to anchor everything. Because I never do, and that's a big problem, so just remember to anchor every single thing that you build. Because when you play, it's all going to crumble to pieces. So, anyways, let's get this up here and then scale it to the exact size of the middle. It doesn't have to be the exact size because you see it could still go into here uh, without coming out like this. Because you don't want it going over the thing like that. Because, see, that's disgusting. The little white part. Okay, there we go. So now we got the inside. Let's actually bring this down a little bit more. About to 30. Okay, there we go. So I prepared a little, little negation for the middle of um, the inside of the thing. So this little part right here that we just now made. Anyways, so we would like to probably like scale it. Or actually, it's pretty fine. So, there we go. Now, um, just to add a little bit of design, we're going to keep it over here about that much in. Then we're going to make another one, scale that down by a teeny bit, and then bring it all the way through. So now you see... It'll, it'll create just a small little outline. Anyways, um, so here, let's do this one first and see. So now we have a divot in right there. But the problem is we need to just get this out here. There we go. And then let's do about here because then I'll leave that little mark. There we go. That's absolutely perfect. So, now that we have that done, we can get that, we can keep that, um, and then we gotta bring this in there, and you see if it overlaps, then it'll literally do nothing. So we just wanna keep it inside just a teensy bit. There we go. Okay, so let's put that in, and do the same right here. So now, you can see, it leaves a small little mark. So if you want to make that a little bigger, or, or the mark, tiny bit, then you could do that. So now that just adds a little bit more detail to our build, and a little detail helps a lot. So, now we have these two parts, and let's center them to make sure that they're perfectly in. So now we got that done. 
Um, we can put it up about to there. That'll be perfect. Okay. Now we gotta control D and then rotate these two. So, and then you would like to bring that down about to the exact same. So, perfect. Now we have that. So we want to get these two little parts, and then we want to get it all the way down to here. Or, make sure that it's perfectly centered with the middle. And then, so now we have these four, these four little parts. Now, we can control D one of those, and then make it smaller. So you see this is going to be the small piece right here. And then there we go. Played one waiting game for nothing. Okay. So now this should look pretty good. And then we just need to add a few more details to it. And there we go. We have a wheel. So now that we got that part finished, we need one small little cylinder right here that's going to go right in the middle or no not in the middle right at the bottom of this so we want to bring that in have it over this way there we go negate that and then we gotta do the same over here okay so now we just select both of those and then them at the exact same spots as the others. Okay. So now that we got all of those in, kind of want to do one more thing. Whoa. Okay. So it's actually these things to be a little smaller. Okay, so you would like to have the change colors to the negations, probably about to the white so you can see it perfectly. The negated parts, actually. There we go. So, we have that perfectly in. Now, we just have to do, okay, what the heck. Never mind, we don't need to do that. Let's just keep on focusing on this. Okay. So, now we have all these. You like to hang that on into that. And this might take a while because there's a lot of parts in the other. So, and then we just have one more thing to do during this process of making a steam locomotive wheel. We just get another one of those cylinders and then just put some cool design right there. So there you go, you got those little holes in. Then, yeah, so we got our cylinder. Gotta bring that all the way down. And then, so this one's not gonna be too visible because I'm just gonna have it surrounding. I'm getting all the way over there. So there we go. We have that right in the middle. Okay, so now we just need to bring this up to about like 34, I guess. And then bring this in quite a bit. And then bring this down here. There we go. Actually, this does not need to be that dark, or this just needs to be darker. There we go. So now we have a pretty cool looking train wheel. So if we put it on the tracks, you can see that it's not going to look its best. But whenever we actually get it up on there and then have it onto a whole other thing like this, 
over here, then it would look absolutely amazing. But anyways, here you go. Right here is the perfect wheel, I guess. So now you can have two, three, four, even five or even six wheels up to that. You know, it doesn't matter. You can just make anything you want out of this. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Sorry, I was a little bit annoyed. <laughs> um, but this may be able to teach you a lot. And then now we'll be able to make so many different things like this. And I'll have like little sections off of what we could probably make a little playlist or series of how to make a steam locomotive. And yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed part one of this video of the how to build a steam locomotive. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.